one thing I got to say about this before I get into it that um, goes out uh, what I was doing. I had listened to music 100%. Um, I have seen hundreds of people react to this. I have heard hundreds of people give their thoughts and opinions. And there are things that I agree with, don't agree with. There are things that I am, uh, at least one or two things that I'm amazed that I've never heard anybody catch, which is crazy to me, uh, considering how many people have done stuff with this so um i do know that i'll be bringing at least some new to the table um and then also like just a wealth of uh knowledge about this music video based on like the two months that i spent like obsessively just playing the reactions to it while i'm like playing league and stuff <clears throat> so way way long overdue i wanted to make this like two or three months ago but uh, I wanted Kia Weird to be a part of it. Let's see. Okay. It doesn't look like it. Uh, he has... What's, he's idle on Discord. I tried. <laughs> All right. Hi, Red. And uh, this is what I consider to be best performance of music, acting, whatever you want to call it. Best I've ever seen anybody perform my entire life, hands down. Uh, I did watch some Money Game Part 3 ones. I've been looking for, like, more interesting, uh, like, valuable opinions, so to speak, like, uh, like an opera singer uh, react to it and, like, a pianist react to it. I wanted to get, like, specific opinions. It's very hard for me to find actors or acting coaches to look at this because that's what I was really curious about. So we watched a lot of videos today where that person wearing the pig mask was in it. Uh, well, at least the pig mask itself. I don't know who the person is. Um, that's it. I guess I don't want to jump, jump ahead of myself with other information. I really, really, really like this way of introducing the title. Um, it sets you up to have absolutely no expectations. And big white letters on a black backdrop is, uh, I think that might actually, I think that's impact font. Unironically, has a big impact. It makes you feel like something important is going to happen. And I don't know who's been here since the beginning, but also this is very noticeably the same room as Sick Boy. Um, the sink has been replaced and we have some different lighting choices. Uh, a fun fact about them shooting this, this is a live performance, continuous one shot, and it, was, uh, it only took four attempts to get this, which is absolutely crazy. That whole part right there. Well, first of all, he's playing on what, save for the electrical component into the bottom of it, would be considered to be a classical guitar, um, which is an impressive feat in learning how to play a classical guitar as opposed to like a regular acoustic guitar and electric guitar. Um, and he's finger picking it all. But when he's playing this, He's playing it in kind of a sloppy and aggressive way where he's hitting the strings really hard and the notes aren't super clean. Um, but then he moves up.
and everything gets really clean and precise as he moves up in note. Uh, I think that has a lot of symbolism for how the rest of the song and video. part which seems to catch a lot of people off guard myself included when i first uh saw this or heard um <clears throat> i've heard a ton of people comment on uh how they're surprised how it's like a yodel uh, all this but i think there's a purpose to it uh you'll see it happen again at the end i think that this um bizarre kind of singing right after the music comes in is it's a transition. It's like a it's like a metaphysical transitionary thing that's happening where we're going into his own person, sort of like going into his mind. This is the so this is the sound of us traveling from where we're at into the inside of his mind, which is why it's kind of like a unexpected chaotic sound. And um. And, at, and then when we hear it again, it's when we're leaving that part. And because we're talking about going into his mind, uh, a lot of people comment about the content of this song. And uh, a lot of people seem to know that he has Lyme disease, which can cause auditory hallucinations, uh, visual hallucinations. Uh, there are characters that are played in this song that, um, like, I guess if you do some reading, you can find out pretty easily, but I've never heard anybody talk about it. Uh, there's clearly a metaphor in here, but these characters that he plays in this song are actual. Uh, they're, not, they're not just metaphors. These are actual hallucinatory experiences, uh, like characters that like, are commonly occurring to him. So like, um, these are like regular, like, quote unquote, like visitors from hallucinations of his that he has experienced, and he's giving voice to them. Through him, it's not as though like he's a uh, DID and they're singing for him or like performing for him, but he's representing like actual fictional characters that he has experienced via hallucinations from having Lyme disease. Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back Deep down you know that Deep down you know I'm always in periphery Rant on you please to see me It's been weeks since we spoke bro I know you need me You're the sheep I'm the shepherd Not your place to lead me Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi Brent I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself Since my therapist told me I'm ill So uh, now, now anybody who's just watching this Knows that there's two characters being played right now the body language is on another level. A kind of uh, aggressive nodding, shoulders up, like bobbing his head forward to enunciate words. Very, very confident and cocky. And whereas uh, the more quieter Ren, uh, nodding, but kind of back towards himself, trying to give himself like the confidence to. Uh, and it's crazy. And like how he like has to pull back to like adjust his body instead of pushing forward, whereas the other run, it'll kind of like aggressively moves forward when he speaks. Uh, the attention to detail of his own body while singing and playing is out of this world. And I've been making some progress lately, and I've learned some new coping skills. Right there, he has that little bit of confidence, and he pulls back and kind of doubts himself even. Uh, crazy. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, a lot of people comment on uh, how he is putting him down and like trying to like back into place but well, everything that he just mentioned are sources of insecurity for somebody who's going through uh that's particularly what he's hinging at 
this sort of uh, narcissistic move where uh, I know what's best. Uh, you, you need to just trust me. And if you push back, I'm going to attack you where you're the weakest. I'm going to go after all of your instincts and let you know that, that everything that you're afraid of, you have the right to be afraid of. That's why you should listen to me. I, I'm the only one that can help you. Mate, this time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered. Right there. It's different, man. Trust Powering. me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And he kind of looks off as to get some kind of like validation. And, and my back. music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great actually proud of himself hey. there and when i'm gone maybe i'll be remembered for doing something special with myself showing some that's confidence. why i don't think that we should talk man because when you're with me it never seems to help you think that you can amputate me i am you you are me you are i i am we we are one split in two that makes one so you see you gotta kill you if you want to kill me I'm not and then uh fitting in with that sort of narcissistic vibe that the uh the dark evil whatever you want to call it the more aggressive rep uh, lashes out immediately, um, which is really how that works. Uh, if you tell somebody who's extremely narcissistic that, like, I don't need you and here's why, uh, he tells him that, like, you can't even separate yourself from me if you will die. You don't just need me, like, you'll be lost. You'll fucking die if you separate from me. Have no choice, believe me. So instead of trying to convince him, that he needs him. He's just now stating it as a fact, while also being extremely angry when doing so. It's like this side of Ren is actually insecure by the idea that um, the other Ren even suggests that he's doing good enough to not need him. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top 10 hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Wow, your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah. And then right back to the insecure again. Uh, oh, you're you're really that good. Uh, prove it. Show me the receipts. I didn't fucking think so. Uh, which would be, um, if it's really true that you needed him, or he, without without me you would die. I wouldn't have to ask for receipts. I wouldn't have to keep on putting you down. So there is like a smuggled in insecurity in the other side, uh, and that uh, it doesn't want to be uh, separated either. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the radio. They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ren, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren's Um Blah, blah, blah Uh, seems like Eminem I know This is the part where everybody says that Um but it's really not. This really is nothing at all like Guilty Conscience, which is what people like to compare it to. Even, uh, I just don't think it is. Uh, I think that Casting Glance would give you that, but it's, it's not like that. Sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with the subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original, you criminal. Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success is healing. Fun fact, uh, Ren knows Plan B. I think that's fun. He did that. Previous, a battle with the subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original, you criminal. Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. So, part of the reason uh, putting Money Game Part 1 and 2 in first uh, and doing Sick Boy is that I wanted to make sure that those on this where we got to here, he's literally making fun of him for Money Game Part 2. Um, in the process of making fun of his music, he's saying, your analogy by using this nursery rhyme to explain economics in a really clever way, it's super fucking cringe. 
Okay, nobody would nobody likes that. It's really fucking stupid if you think that that makes you a good artist. Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus F Um, that's like, that, that's very much the thing that every musician tells themselves Uh, to sort of give themselves confidence against that voice in their head that they all have so it's like super super smart to use that like the most common uh way of combating that voice uh to uh it's it's really clever to give that to the voice uh and mock you for thinking it it's uh very very smart if you ever watch a musician watch this they will always laugh at that part because they're like, oh, I felt that. I know. I'm not a musician, but I've seen enough of them to know that, like, that, that hits hard for a lot of music. And um, because that's, like, the usual cope, you can see that, like, the more timid Ren just sort of breaks in response. Fuck you. Process. And if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus. Fuck you. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Ren. I'm gonna fucking kill me, then. Let's fucking have you, Ren. I'm gonna do it. Watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Because I call the shots I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. Um. But it's very. Like the lack of confidence he has throughout the whole thing, unless he's talking about his music somehow thinks that he's able to uh, combat that uh, more aggressive part. And uh, also, another really fun part is a uh, more aggressive ring has a cross ear. When he's facing, you can see the cross earring on the other ear, just a circle. <sighs> it's News dichotomy contrast. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. And then obviously the lights flashing background um, sort of signifies like there's something paranormal going on here. And one thing that really frustrates me is that at this part here, so the lights start flashing, but if we X leaks here, out of you, it's for nothing. Can kill you, run. There's no lights flashing for like the more aggressive run, and I call him that for a very specific reason. That's true. But I don't think that that's um, necessarily lost here. He does have other earrings too, but I have noticed that since. Um, there's a reason why I refer to him as the aggressive Ren, rather than like the dark or the evil Ren. Um, and I'm about to point that out. But the, the lights don't ever flash for that one. But they do flash. Um, I believe... We're at 408 here. Been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried. So right when we get into this transitionary state, and Dark Red speaks, that's when the lights flash for him. He joins all your. Never seems to. Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not coming. And there's like a little flash when they change. 408. And now. Me then, let's fucking have you, Ram. I'm gonna do it. Watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. I think the little flashes here are because we're entering another transitionary state. And this isn't the aggressive Ren talking anymore. The aggressive Ren is getting taken over by the literal devil this is like the evil ren there's a third character entering here where the aggressive one isn't able to appropriately do his job uh i think a lot of people see that neck twist and sound as um the more aggressive ren just sort of forcing the other one out uh, but he hasn't had to do that the whole time just because he's challenged him doesn't mean that he would have any harder time uh still being able to have a voice i think a third character entering here which is a lot more sinister than that one. The other one's sort of playing on his insecurities, and this one's a bit different. And as soon as he starts uh, 
speaking, demeanor and the performance as to how the song's being conveyed changes. It's not left to right anymore. It's looking straight ahead. He doesn't just want to talk to the other Ren. He wants to let everybody know how powerful and unstoppable he is. Newsflash! I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Oh. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Must offer Lee's truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips, so you see. I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. See, the message is totally different. Instead of trying to convince Ren that you need me and putting him down, he's just sort of saying that this is straight up saying this is who I am. And uh sort of expressing that I am way too powerful to be um, entirely. And it's not pre-gensing insecurity. It is um it's like a chaotic uh like the like the guitar goes really, really chaotic, and there's this this emphasis on um Conscious good run with. Why would a third character want to new? Well, because he's always been there before. Um. So the other, my secondary idea to that is, is that um, it is like an evolution of the the first more aggressive run because their messages are not the same. We have an insane amount of light flashing going on, um. And even now, even like the music, like the, the way that he's playing the guitar transitions as well. It's almost like an ascension of it, which the ascension of it could also just be straight up like the like literal Christian devil. Like tag, or, or it could have been like he's just tagging in uh, older brother, or like the bigger one. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. And now this, this, again, I think the same thing about this one too. This is clearly not more passive rent. You can tell from the very first time that he speaks uh, that this guy has just steel in his veins. He is uh, unshakable from the way that he speaks. And, um... I've been taking some time to be still. And so you could consider this to be the more, uh, like the God Ren, or the more, um, like the, like the ascension of the goodness in the passive Ren, uh, like coming up to like this evolutionary level of like the best parts that are there. Or it could just be another character as well. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned And in the beginning he does turn to talk to the other side But now this one too, I don't want to just talk to Ren, I want to speak to everybody But it's not as though I want to speak to everybody to show how powerful I am But I want to speak to everybody to give you the power to fight off these kinds of voices. I want to inspire everybody. Just as sure as the rainfall soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made by his hand. It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. And you... That, he stands up the first time. The first time I saw that was one of the most powerful visual I've ever seen song brings so strong holds you there and you just sort of assume that he's wheelchair bound uh the whole time stands up right when he says i can stand on my own too it's it's almost kind of like obvious that you would if you're trying to be clever but people don't and it is clever it's poetic and it lands so good you know me my will 
understand this or part of this plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor This too? I haven't heard anybody mention this, maybe they have Face to face with the beast Which the other one had called himself the devil, so this is a reference to uh, bad things in general, but it's also a direct shot at the last speaker. Um, I will rise from the east, and I'll settle on the ocean floor. This is a sun reference, and the sun is a symbol of God. Uh, and since Ren is not religious, we can also take this to be like what is good in us, like the best parts of us, the antithesis of whatever a non-believer would think of the devil. This is what he represents. As he's talk, he said. Uh, he references himself as the sun when he says that. That's where the sun rise, uh, rises, and then it goes down over the ocean. So in a metaphorical speaking, he's saying, I am the sun. And I go and by light. many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know. There's been very few times in my life where a line has hit nearly as hard as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And if you've watched people react to this, you can see that hit them. If it's a real reaction and you see somebody, or if, it's, if you're watching a reaction and you see somebody not get affected by that, either one, they've heard this before, or two, they've never been there before. Nobody who's ever felt like that and is still here with us, here's that, and it doesn't make him go, ooh, and get lost for a second. It stuns you. It's that good of a line. People know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Because I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain, and I didn't once flinch or shake. So cower at the man I've become. When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong First of all Him hiding the fact that he has a great singing voice For the whole song Or that Genius For him to break out the singing right there Uh And even the So cower at the man I've become Power at the man I've become, further implying that he has grown from that weaker part to this. Um, and instead of just saying it, for him to sing it, you feel it. It is tremendous. And like all the other parts, but I think this, this, this part here comes off particularly good in the acting. Just... He's putting it out with every fiber of his being, along with the lyrics that he's singing. It's crazy. Good. When I sing from the top of my lungs, that I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, a mortal like you, we're a climate different side. And then, it says, says it too. They're both persistent. They're pushing back at each other. But he also makes peace with it by saying we're a coin sides. And then there's this grimace, this clench. There's this intensity right here at the end. And then he lets it go. And now we're moving out of his inner world, his inner reality, and back out to him being just Ren, and us just being the audience, and this is the sound and visual representation of us coming out of it. And if this were any other artist, I would say that this part is over-analytical. But I wouldn't put a single thing past Ren. His writing is top tier. The reason why exiting it is much longer than entering it is because it's much easier 
to get inside your own head and to get into these fights with yourself. Uh, and get sort of trapped there, not be able to move forward, then it is to come out. So the journey away from it is much longer than the one that it takes to get into it. I think that that's why this part is longer. And then coming out of it, he sounds very triumphant. Um, which I think adds a bit more uh, credibility to that idea that that's why it takes longer. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath, it was a pendulum eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. Like, the end here. Um, and that when he got up, you could or the table on the guitar really because a well-known artist known for doing live performance don't need to do that. That is relatively unknown. Smart to let people, hey, I really should record this and have me act out. This happened. So it was very, very clever given his status at the time. Uh, and I also really love the uh, act font laying over it too, sort of saying uh, goodbye at the same time that it said, or the same way that it said hello. You just have that empty room sound, which I think was really good because I've never seen anybody see that for the first time and not just like need a moment, in real life at least. I've seen React content people like uh, have something to say. I've seen a lot of them need a minute too, but um, I guess especially if there's no pressure on like that, uh, most people just sort of need to introspect after seeing that. Uh, every single person that I've shown this to uh, in real life have been shook at the end. And I think he does a really good job of doing that. That's my um, heavy analysis of Iren. Um, hopefully, even if you've seen a lot of people react to it, add something new here. I've thought about this a lot, a lot. Um, I try not to repeat things other people have said too much. Uh, and when I did, I tried to at least um, sort of poke fun at, like, this is what everybody knows. Um, a couple of things that are, like, really subtle that I've heard people talk about. Uh, like, this sock on the more passive run is, like, pulled up appropriately. This one's just sort of, like, more chaotically, like, just barely poking out of the shoe. <clears throat> uh, I also really think that there's um, a cool thing happening here, where this has a really big light. This has a really small light. Um, 
and it's sort of a uh, contrast between the two characters, but in the inverse, as we would think that the more aggressive, less favorable Ren wouldn't have as much light, but it does bring a lot more energy than the passive one. And because of the lights that we can't see, there's a much darker and bigger shadow cast than this one here. This has like a much more powerful shadow, if you will. When you do get to the songs, do an analysis of either the tales of Jenny and Screech or the whole tale. I'm also totally okay with you two. Want to analyze on your own? I'll do the tales of Jenny and Screech. 